Their child. Uh, and now
Be nice. <laughs> Okay, let's turn around so I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, someone has a What? Or there. A whole laptop? Yeah. Whoa! Huh? We're going on a video. Joel Kachu. Empty bottle. Look at him. I can name one Dumbo. Look at that one. What are you doing? Come to me. Yeah, can't go long. I'm going to teach you how to make water. Hmm, I'm going to make water. ना तो बड़ों के कानून लोग खड़ा हैं ना ना देखे ही नहीं Pay attention, everybody, please. If there are no more questions, I want to believe some of you might be wondering how this project is being funded. This project does not have any special funding. The project entirely depends on your donations. We also have a fostering scheme where you can adopt or sponsor an elephant of your choice. At a minimum fee of 50 US dollars a year or 4,000 Kenya shillings, you can help save the life of an elephant that would have died back into the world. Once you pay in your 50 US dollars, we will give you a certificate in the name of the elephant that will have adopted a watercolor painting, which is done by a renowned artist, Angela Sheldon. Picture and profile of your elephant, including a newsletter. Then you'll fill in a form giving us your details, including your email address, so that every month we update you online and let you know how your elephant is doing, plus all the others that we've got in the nursery. If you adopt an elephant only at 50 US dollars a year, we will update you on the keeper's diary, which is written every day by the keeper, telling different stories. but with an appointment. We insist if you want to come at five, you need to make an appointment because we don't allow the whole public to come in. We only take a smaller group per evening. And one must have adopted or must be coming to adopt that evening. We insist on a smaller group for you to enjoy see them go to bed and also for the better end of this elephant. We also allow you to go down to Savo and see our big offers. Our big offers in Savo are not open to the public. Strictly to those that have already sponsored an elephant in Savo with a permission letter from the government. You will be directed where to find them and at what time so that you can enjoy some time with our big offers. So that is how we managed to get funds to help raise this baby elephant. 
and it does not matter which elephant you pick to adopt because the money goes to all of them. But we insist that you pick on a name so that we can send you specific details of your elephant and general information of all the others that we've got in the nursery. Remember you can adopt an elephant for yourself. It's important that after you've seen all these elephants, you pick an elephant of your choice. And on your way uh, out at the shop, we've got the forms for you to fill in and you will walk back home a lucky parent to a baby elephant. And that will also ensure that the project continues to save more that would have died back in the world because somebody was interested in the ivory in their skin or in the meat or something like that. Having said that, it doesn't mean that 50 US dollars is the cost of raising an elephant. It is approximately 900 US dollars a month to raise one elephant. But since it is not easy to get 900 every month from one person, that is why we say 50 US dollars a year is the minimum. But we totally encourage donations over and above the minimum. And also that is why one elephant is being sponsored by more than one person, so that we can help raise the amount expected and uh, raise an elephant, which is approximately 900 US dollars in a month. So the oldest elephant we've got in the last year at the moment is the biggest in time, standing at the age of the water hole, Shut an elephant you. called Moreira, at approximately four and a half years, rescued from Mare National Park, found falling down a trap that had poisonous spikes. Injured both her hind leg and one of the legs got broken. So that is why we rescued her. With plans of fixing her leg before releasing her back into the world. When she, came in, when she came in originally, we had plans of running an X-ray so that we can, so that the vets can see the damage before we try and operate. But we did not get an X-ray machine in the country that can run an X-ray on an elephant. And this is because all the X-ray machines we got are too big and are stationed in the hospital, while the elephant cannot walk to the hospital. So as we were waiting to get an X-ray machine, which is digital, from the United States, this elephant was on her three legs for the past five months. But after that, she started to put some weight on the broken leg, which means natural healing had started to take place. And right now, you can see her living on this leg, putting on more weight every now and then, which means it is still healing. And so that is why this elephant needs more time in the nursery so that she can heal naturally before she goes back into the world. And that means she will be able to stay longer than the normal three years that they stay in the nursery. And that's why she's still here and she's already at four and a half years old. Right behind her is an elephant called Lima Lima, uh, who is approximately almost three years old, rescued from Loisa Barani, which is found in like TV and a fortune victim. Behind Lima Lima, the naughty girl in the group, an elephant called Laragai, who is also almost two years, rescued from Barana Ranch, which is found in Laikipia. And we're not very sure what happened to her mother because she was found alone at almost about a year old without a sign of other elephants close to this area, which meant that she was an orphan and still very lucky to be alive because at that age of about a year they can starve to death because they can't feed on enough to survive and can be killed by the lions or the hyenas out there. On the side of Lima Lima is an elephant called Kwanza who is two years rescued from Amboseli National Park in the Fort Empire. Became an orphan when she was nine months old. Found in protecting the dead body of her mother and two other female elephants who had been killed by poachers. This baby was found trying to protect these dead bodies. And that's why we had to come in immediately to help rescue her. She's now about <coughs> three years. She was nine months when she came in. Trying to get down the waterhole, along the waterhole at the edge, an elephant called Orwa, who is the oldest boy, at three years old. Rescued from south to Kana Gembri South and a boat in this area. Mm -hmm. came, became an orphan at the age of about ten months. Behind Orwa is an elephant called Naipok, who is three years old, rescued from Namia conservation area, found falling down a well when she was about one and a half months old, identified by the community's neighbors in this area, who managed to help rescue her from this well. And after rescuing her, 
They set her free, assuming that she would be able to find her family and continue with her own life. But came the next day, the baby was found down the same well again, which means she didn't have a mother, she didn't have a family, and she was just very lucky to be still alive at one and a half months old. That is why we rescued her. She's now approximately three years old, and so far are doing all right in the nursery. In front of me, an elephant called Bomani, and slightly above two years, rescued from Sava Conservation Area and approaching victim. Close to the line at the end, with a branch, close to the keeper, an elephant called Isha B, rescued from northeastern part, assisting with the females as early as 910. <laughs> 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 They always stay in groups of family, and the oldest female, <laughs> the oldest <laughs> leader, or the major, the hard developer, all the others will respect the oldest female. And elephants have their own language to communicate and listen to each other, and so will all listen to the command of the matriarch of the group. The boys will leave their families after maturity, which is about 15 years. That is when they go and join the bachelor family somewhere. Our want to say by themselves, all want to go and look for females in other herds of elephants. In a bachelor herd of elephants, all the strongest will always be in charge. Go on. Any questions? Yes. And those that are under the age of three years are fed on every three hours, 24-7. Those that are over two years are fed on every six hours, 24-7. Yes. Success. Success. How many elephants died in our care? For the first two years in the nursery, 60% of them will survive. But after two years, when we take them to Savo, 98% of them will survive. Yes. It looks like he's talking to him. Are they attached to the keepers? They do get attached to the keepers because the keepers stay with them. How? Elephants can run at approximately 25 kilometers per hour. Wow. And just to uh, 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 add on your question, uh, most of the young ones who come in when they're below the age of five months, uh, will die during the teething period because it's very sensitive on them. Uh, they, it makes them have tummy problems, they lose appetite for food, and they lose a lot of condition. And most of them don't make it for the first uh, three or four months if they come in when they don't have the milk food. Yes. How do you take them apart? The mile look the same to you because you are seeing them for the first time. But if you stay with them for a long time, more than a month, you will be able to tell the minor differences. They are all different. We can tell them from the body shape, from the texture of their skin, uh, from their action. And so we know the little minor differences on the body because we, we sing them every day. Yes. Now we've got 36 elephants. So if, if there are no more questions, the elephants are left with less than five minutes to walk away. That's the end of our show. Thank you very much for listening to me.